Hi, welcome to the video. We have one hour, one hour lunch break to go and get as much as we can from charity shops to later resell for a profit on eBay. Let's go. Okay, so first charity shop here. I don't usually start with this one, but traffic was really bad in the way I wanted to go. Cheers, thank you. No worries. I'll take advantage, thank you. Yeah. CRT TV with VCR 35 too much for me VCR 15 but not a good brand yeah, but check, check these out guys like I never find stuff like this in here these should be a pound each as well hopefully I never find vintage games. In fact, I never find any video games in here anymore, to be honest. Not anymore. Check this out. Vintage Soda Stream. Oh. <laughs> this is an old one, this. So this is what I got in the end. The Dreamcast games I had to put back because they were very, very scratched, so... Um, yeah, I didn't want to mess with them, even for a pound each. Um, yeah, they, were, they weren't great games anyway. Uh, these two, unfortunately, not what they say on the front, but they are still good games, I think. Diddy Kong Racing DS and Crash of the Titans. I don't know if that's better than, you know, what's on the case or not, but for a pound each, I was going to do that. And then a pound each on these three. I'm hoping that's worth something. Jordan versus Bird, that's right up my street, that. Yeah. Um, and these two as well. They're all, you know, those two are sport football games, so they're probably not worth all that much. But when it's only a pound each, definitely worth a go. Um, I didn't get this on camera, but there's this for a fiver, which I think I'll probably keep unless there's good money in it, which I don't think I will. It's like a recent thing, 2016. Uh, this is brand new sealed, £5, which is about as much as I would pay, but Native American, Wolves, and it's some kind of special silver collection. Um, yeah, I thought that would be worth a go. We'll see later how much that is worth. Let's get on to the next one. Shop number two. Oh, look, they've, they've removed all the shelving. There was all shelving along here last time I came. So they've got rid of all that.
I think it's like a rayware one. Five pounds. Okay. You know I love a tankard. Mm, Two fifty. Condition wise, not fantastic. Nope, nothing in that one today. On to the next. Right, next charity shop is just down here. And I've been promising to bring them some bags for ages. I've got loads. I'm sure most resellers out there have way too many bags like I do. Well, charity shops love you. They'll love you if you take them some bags. Kind of nice. Celebrating the Queen's 70th Platinum Jubilee. It's only Tesco branded though. There's no price on it. I don't know. I think we might give that a go. I don't think it'll be worth much at all. But let's see. So a few, few more things, got a big Darth Vader, no lightsaber though, and he's a bit grubby to be honest, but a fiver, which is kind of just about worthwhile I think. Not sure how much they go for these days, it's been a while since I picked one up, but we'll have a look at everything at the end. Uh, she came out with this, she knows I'm into like weird kind of random toys, so she came out with this um, pound, thought I'd give that a go, never heard of that before. And then we've got two of these, which... I always see them, but they're always just priced a bit too much. Just noticed she's missing a foot, but not to worry. Um, I thought I'd just buy these to give them a go because I have heard about people selling some of them for good money. So we'll see. One was 50p, one was a pound. I got that teapot as well for two quid. And this for, I don't know what she's charged, charged me for this, 10p I think. Little pokemon ball thing as i say we'll go for everything at the end right now i am rushing as fast as i can to get to all of the charity shops in one hour so let's go so the next one is just here it's taken me ages to get anywhere today really busy traffic wise so i don't know if i'm gonna get to all of them but we will see winter sail in here Nothing in that one. On to the next. Next 
charity shop just down here. Hopefully the protesters here don't think I'm filming them, because I am not. But I do support them for the most part. That's kind of cool. This is on Paris picture frame. Originally 20 euros. So got a few things from in there, I've got this Othello which I actually own myself, it's a good one this. I'm not sure how much money there is reselling it, three quid, it is all there. I think they go for about 15 to 20. That's one of the better Othellos. Uh, there is another one I think that has kind of like, um, like a lowered deck, if that's what you call it, lowered board so the pieces kind of slot in and they don't move about. I think that one might be a little bit better. But this is a good vintage one. I'll say exactly the same one as what I have. We've got a Disney mug, nothing too special about this one, £1.50, which is just about all right. Uh, it's probably Disney Parks one. We've got this Disneyland Paris picture frame. It's a bit rough around the edges, this one, two quid. I think we'll do okay, maybe 10 to 15 on that. I don't think it's going to go for much more than that in this condition. And a set of three mugs. I just thought they were kind of cool, like a you know, pound each, three pounds. They're not proper Disney branded, they're a brand called Blue, which I don't think is a good brand. I could be wrong though, I've not ever heard of it. Anyway, we will look everything up when we get back onto the next. Cheers. Last one just here, I've only got a couple of minutes in here, so I need to be quick. Let's have a quick look in the window. I'll look inside. Here you go. So there we go, I've got a bread bin in there. Nothing too special with this bread bin, but I've had this same one before and it goes okay. Probably 25, maybe 30 at a push. Got this second edition of the logo board game. I've never actually seen that out there before. I think it's worth a little bit more than the first edition. Uh, a couple of egg cups. Are we gonna be able to make over that 100 pounds? We will see. Wait for just a moment and we'll go through it all. So it's a little bit later and I am back home and this is everything we have purchased today. So in total, there's all the receipts. I've just added it up and we have spent 44 pounds, 10 pence in total. So what do you think? Before I look into everything, do you think we can make 100 pounds profit here? All said and done. It's gonna be close, I think. One second, and we will take a look. So here we go, let's have a look what we should be making here. So this game here, I paid three pounds. We should get about 13 pounds for it. As I say, it's not the most desirable version of this game, but it's not a bad one either. It's in really good condition and complete. This game here was two pounds, and this should go for about 15 pounds. Again, it's complete. Uh, this one here, this teapot, there's only, well, there's only one for sale out there right now. It's brand new and they're asking £46 plus postage. I think that's a bit much. 
somebody recently has sold one for £15 plus postage. I think, yeah, we're going to be closer to the £15 mark on this. Paid three. I thought it was two, that, but I think that is actually three. I think I paid three on that. This here, don't bother buying these. I just took a bit of a chance on it because I'd never seen it before. I thought it looked kind of unique. But, nah, pound only go for about seven or eight quid. So, not worth it. And this mug here is a proper Disney Parks mug, but even so, it is a bit kind of ordinary there's nothing too special about this one only goes for about 10 pounds these two dolls here la la loopsy is what they're called i've had a look and i still don't know i i don't know why some of them are worth more than others this one though seems to be worth maybe like 10 to 12 pounds this one more like a fiver so i'll put I'll put it down as 15 quid condition wise not fantastic but I think we can still make around about that amount. Uh, these mugs here paid £3, only worth about £8 to £10. Pounds. Surprised, I thought they'd be worth more than that. I think they're kind of cool. Kind of three different designs going on. But nope, that's all that they're worth. This bread bin here paid £5. Pounds. I reckon I can get £30 pounds for it. Thereabouts, you know, £25. Pounds. Somebody sends me a £25 pound offer, I'd probably just accept it. It's in good condition think we can get that for it and uh, this here somebody in america is asking 45 pounds plus postage for this i don't think they're ever going to get it i think that's a bit too much i paid two pounds i reckon more like about 15 maybe 20 at a push on this one and from one disney to another two egg cups here vintage 10 quid for the two i think we can get that on them this space invaders little game here really like this paid five pounds I think we can get up to 20 if I hold out a little bit on it. There's a lot of these sold. And if you've got one of these brand new still in the packet, it's worth quite a decent amount. I think I saw one up for about 45 quid. So, but like this, pre-owned, 20 quid. Uh, this here is a Pokemon ball thing from, I think it's from the year 2000. And it's, is it Meowth? Is that right? Meowth? I think that's what he's called. I've tried looking him up. Cannot find him. I found a different character. Somebody in America selling it for... Well, had managed to sell it for about £8 plus a load of postage on it. So, who knows on this. Could be worth a bit. Maybe. Maybe not. I'll have to have a closer look into this. But for now, I figure, I thought I'd put 10 on it. I'm pretty sure. For a collector. That's something they might want. Still works as well. These video games here, it was nice to see these. I feel like if I had maybe left this charity shop till last, like I usually do, this all, these all might have been gone. Don't know, who knows, but mixed bag here. So if this was a, this actual game, it would be worth about 16 quid. But what we actually have inside is Crash Titans, which is not worth a lot at all. But I figured that I could probably sell the case. Doesn't have its manual though, but I could just sell the case, hopefully maybe for a fiver, and then the game is worth about a fiver as well. So it's not all bad, only paid a pound, so we'll still make a little profit on that. Similar story on this one, Donkey Kong Country 3D Returns. If it was that game, it's worth about 14 pounds, but it's not what it is. It is Diddy Kong Racing DS, which is worth, about nine pounds loose like that but again i figured i could maybe get up to a fiver just for the case free postage so you know we're not talking a lot of money here but we will still make a little profit and then we've got three mega drive games really good to see these very rare these days i find mega drive games anywhere they're not the best ones ever but they are all complete with their manuals and in good condition so that is good this one should go for about eight quid this one should go for about ten and this one should go for about 20. There's not many of these out there that are complete with their manual. So, not in the UK anyway. So, I've, I think we can get 20. Some people are asking more. The case on this is a little bit, little bit damaged. What I'll probably do is swap the cases out for one of these. So, yeah, not too bad. One, two, 
three, four, five pounds spent, and you know we'll make that back with like just this one, for instance. If you look at it that way, it's worthwhile. Pity about those Dreamcast games again, something I don't tend to find. I almost wanted to get them just to kind of say that I'd found some Dreamcast games at a charity shop, because that never happens. Don't know about you guys, but that never happens to me. I don't know if I've actually ever found a Dreamcast game ever. Whereas I have found Mega Drive games, 3DS games before, but never a Dreamcast game in a charity shop. So, but yeah, they were just absolutely scratched to anything and not worth that much anyway, even if they were perfect condition. The cases were all broken as well. So I had to leave them, but I'm glad I got these. And then the last pickup is Darth Vader. Now I thought he was missing his lightsaber and maybe he is but looking at the solds the vast majority of them don't have a lightsaber so i don't know maybe he's supposed to have one maybe he's not but he's a big one he's 31 inches tall and prices are kind of all over the place but with a bit of a clean up i reckon i can get 30 quid for him plus postage pretty sure we can do that so the important question is will we make 100 pounds profit sell reselling all this on ebay well, I've broken it down right here. So we spent £44.10. My estimated sale price on all this is £253. eBay will take fees of around £38, which will leave us with an approximate estimated profit of £171. And you got to remember, this is only one hour's worth of looking. So I don't think that's bad. For one hour, I mean, if I'd been at it all day and I'd only come away with this stuff, then I don't know. I still don't think I would be too disappointed with what we've got here. But for one hour, definitely, definitely worth it. It's the next day now. I completely forgot about this item that we picked up for £5. This jigsaw, brand new sealed, silver collection and it's i can't really find many of these out there at all there are a couple of people asking a lot for similar kind of things but i can't find this particular one either for sale sold pre-owned anything so i think 20 quid plus postage will be easy to get we might even get a bit more i will aim higher than that but let's just call it 20 quid five pound buy-in after fees and everything we're probably making it what, 12 quid profit something like that let's go back to yesterday so what's your favorite pickup here any particular item that you remember like got quite a few vintage items here like this these games uh, this little pokemon ball that's probably about 20 years old anything here that you particularly like let me know and before I go, there's a couple of things I want to show you that I have sold. I've just sold this for £95 plus postage. I recently sold it for 90 but they never paid. Put it back up for sale. It had loads of interest again as soon as I put it back up and sold it for a five or more. They've paid and it's going off to the USA. I paid £25 for this and yeah, really good, really nice item. Packaging it up now, dropping it off in the morning. And another good sale from a few days ago is this Maple Town Ferris wheel. This went for £119.99 plus postage and is going off to the USA. It's a good one, this. £8 is what I paid for it. I did have it up for quite a bit more than this originally, but I fired an offer out of £119.99 and they accepted. Cheers for watching, hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you like this kind of video, why not subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like the video if you could, it really does help out. It gets the video out to more people. Until next time, see you in the next one.